Hey right, guys, <coughs> so Indiana played Ohio State today. Uh, we played pretty well. Uh, this is going to be a short vlog. I, uh, the last few vlogs have been pretty long. I've been editing a lot. I have been busy. Tomorrow is the top 10 and that's always a long day for me. Vlogging. I mean, I put a lot of time into the top ten, so I'm just gonna make this short. Um, and I have uh, pixels and stuff like that. I'm editing. Plus, I'm working on a project, uh, like candles and stuff like that. All kinds of cool stuff. So, with that being said, uh, Let's dig into this Indiana Ohio State game. Indiana won 81 to 68. Indiana moves to 9 and 2 in the Big Ten, 21 and 3 overall. Ohio State falls to 17 and 6, 7 overall in the Big Ten. Uh, I watched it, but I was editing, and I was actually editing vlog and stuff. So I taped it, and I did watch it pretty closely, but. Uh, statistically speaking, uh, Indiana did get to the line twice as much as, or well, took twice as many shots from the line than what they did uh, at Illinois. They uh, had 28 attempts and made 22, so that was a little bit better. Uh, it just seemed like Indiana came out more focused. Uh, Waffle scored 20 points. Uh, he uh, he was four for five from uh, beyond the arc. Uh, Waffle had a great day. Um, six for 11 overall. Uh, free throws he was four for four, which he is a really good free throw shooter. Um, six rebounds though. That ain't I don't know. That ain't too. I'd like to see that high off, but uh, Zello had eight rebounds, 24 points. Uh, he did pretty good. Uh, he was eight for 11 from the floor. And uh, Jordan Halls had a terrible day shooting, two for nine overall, one for seven three point attempts. Uh, and Yogi, uh, well, Halls had five points. Yogi Ferrell had one point, three assists. Uh, but defensively, see, defensively, Yogi played outstanding. I wish Waffle would would look to Yogi Ferrell as an example on how you play defense. If Waffle could play with more enthusiasm and play defense like Yogi Ferrell, in the end, would be unbeatable almost. I'm telling you. Uh, and then Oladipo, of course, 26 points, um, let's see, 8 bulls, 3 assists, um, he was 8 for, eight for 10 from the floor, 1 for 1, 3 point, uh, Indiana did shoot 18 out of the 49 shots for 3 point, it's kind of high, it's a little bit. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's... You don't really want to take more than that. Uh, and Indiana shot 53.1% from the floor. Uh, so they did good. Uh, turnovers, they did a much better job. Eight turnovers. It's a little bit better. Um, but they only had three steals. Uh, let's see, they held uh, Ohio State to 42% shooting, 23% from the, from beyond all, 3 for 13. Um, Thomas, who is a Fort Wayne native, Fort Wayne and Indiana native, I kind of like him, 26 points, uh, 7 balls. Um, we tied Ohio State in rebounds. Uh, and they beat us in offensive rebounds, 11 to 7. That ain't good. Uh, Ohio State did get a lot of second chance opportunities. 
Uh, so, uh, Ohio State did have a 12 point oval. Uh, so, here's the thing. Indiana was up by 15 in the second half. Well, more than that. And I just, I've been waiting all season for them to just be up like that on a team, a decent team, and then just kick it up in high gear and just blow them out by thoroughly and just shock the the world of college basketball. I feel like they're capable of doing it. And I just thought maybe, since they lost to Illinois, maybe they would be fired up and they'd want something and they'd want to do that. But nope, they didn't. Still looking for that game. Indiana just goes up big and then just looks even horrible and presses horrible and just blows out a team, a good team, by throwing points. That'd be awesome. Didn't happen today. I've been waiting for it all season long. Hopefully, before the end of the season, we can see it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think that's all I have for um, Indiana and Ohio State. Tomorrow's top 10 that I do is going to just be absolutely crazy. Uh, Louisville lost again. Let's see. Kansas lost. Michigan. Uh, Duke only won by a point. Um, Indiana, after losing against Illinois, just spanked uh, Ohio State pretty good at Ohio State. My top 10 is going to be all crazy. Uh, and since it's girls, Indiana's uh, girls uh, basketball uh, tournament time, high school tournament time, uh, I might do a couple uh, vlogs this week on that. I have uh, all kinds of, I have a couple things planned. I have, uh, let's see, uh, Monday, uh, well, Monday's going to be uh, the top ten. Tuesday will be uh, uh, Maybe sometime this week, a uh, homestead. Uh, homestead was in the regional 2011 at uh, Huntington North, and I've got pretty much the whole game in it entirely. Uh, but I'm gonna edit it down and just. Uh, it was a good game, all a good game, and and I'm gonna probably include that in one of my vlogs this week. Then I'm gonna do a uh, Huntington North Lady Viking. Uh, legend video. Oh, maybe just the uh, the alumni game. You know, I, I videotaped most of that game. So, there was a couple things I want to do. And plus, don't forget Bubble Talk. Uh, pretty much, sometimes, I don't know if it's going to be daylight, but sometimes I'm going to do like a, uh, at the end of the vlog, I'm gonna do some bubble talk, just, uh, or well, maybe at the beginning, I don't know, somewhere in between, uh, I'm gonna do a, uh, bubble talk, because it's getting that time of view, uh, I wanted to start Tuesday, and I, I'm not sure if I will, I don't know, we'll see, just test it out, maybe Tuesday, I don't know, um, <clears throat> I think that's it. The vlog yesterday, I did want to address this. The vlog yesterday, um, I think it's a shame whenever an outcome of the game is put in a referee's hand. I don't think it should ever happen. A game should never be decided by a referee. And last night, I, I kind of felt like that. Uh, if you go back to yesterday's vlog, you can look at the last um, 2.5 seconds when when uh, Southside is inbounding the ball, and before they even inbound it, the refs call foul, and it's on camera, and I just, I think maybe a little bit of incidental contact, but not enough to call foul, and... Uh, what a shame. I do have respect. I do love both teams. Uh, I did want Homestead to win, but I'm not being biased. I 
I am happy for Southside, uh, but I'm just saying that that I I just don't think a foul happened. It wasn't consistent with the way they called the rest of the game. So I just think it was a bad call. You can go back to my blog yesterday and check it out yourself. Uh, and, you know, I thought you ain't perfect. I'm not trying to put anybody down on nothing. I, I just think it was a bad call. Uh, but until tomorrow, tomorrow's top 10, week 15, and it's going to be crazy. Who will I have number one? Right now, it is up for grabs, and it's going to be a shocker, I guarantee you. My top 10 is going to be the most crazy yet. I mean, it just keeps getting crazier. And for the fifth week in a row, I'm going to have a new number one. Coaches and AP poll for the fifth week in a row is going to have a new number one as well. So uh, it's just crazy times in college basketball, and it ain't even mulch yet. Mulch is going to be awesome. But until tomorrow, uh, I hope everybody's having a nice night and uh, happy Monday. If you're seeing this Monday, and uh, I think that's it. Peace.